Good morning. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad as we receive the engrafted word of God this morning. We will not remain the same. This is a prayer meeting this morning as we pray and listen to God. Great things are going to happen. And I want to appreciate everyone for coming in. Uh, man of God, I appreciate you, TV man. You're welcome. Everyone who is connected to this broadcast this morning, we appreciate you for coming in this morning. We're praying and we'll be prophesying to our day. It's always beautiful for we to stay connected to God's word. And today we're looking at break thoughts. It is the will of God that you break forth in every area of your life. It is the will of God you prosper in all things. It is the will of God that you produce uncommon results in every area of your life. Thank you for greeting me from New Orleans this morning. Oh, let's begin to bless the name of the Lord. Lord, we thank you this morning. Today is a stress-free day. We decree and we declare that we're going to see breakfast this morning. In the name of Jesus, everything, anything is possible when we pray. And everything is possible when we pray. There is something about prayer that unlocks the supernatural. When we pray, will push backward or push backward any force of darkness any opposition let's begin to pray right now for a supernatural release of god's favor on every area of our assignment and calling we decree this morning supernatural favor in every area of our assignment, calling a ministry, we are breaking forth on every side. In the name of Jesus, we are breaking forth on every side. In the name of Jesus, one word from God can move you to your next level. One word from God can move you to your next level. One word from God in Isaiah 30 verse 21. He said, you will hear a word saying to you, this is the way. You will hear a word saying to you, this is the way. You will hear a word saying to you, this is the way. Let's begin to pray this morning for supernatural revelation that God will reveal things to us. Divine direction is the key to unlocking your potential. Mm. In the name of Jesus, divine direction is the key to unlocking your potential. If you're truly going to unlock your potential, you need divine direction. We pray for divine direction this morning, Lord, as we break forth in our calling, in our assignment, in our ministry, in our jobs. We decree and we declare divine direction. In the name of Jesus, we decree divine direction. 
Likama seketuli blaka baba, lima sama baba baba, likata la baba baba. In the name of Jesus, right now we're gonna pray for those who are trusting God for healing. Whatever you're believing God for, the area you're expecting God to heal your body or to heal you emotionally, let let's release the healing power of Jesus in Hebrews thirteen verse eight. In Hebrews thirteen verse eight, Jesus is the same yesterday today and forever. Father, in the name of Jesus, we we'll release your healing power upon men and women right now watching this broadcast. I speak healing to your body. I rebuke sickness and disease in the name of Jesus. I bind every disease. I bind every spirit that is trying to take advantage of your body and I cast it out in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We speak peace and healing to people's body right now. Right now, by the presence of God. Right now. Right now, you're healed by the power of God. Right now, you're healed in the name of Jesus. Right now, I command and I rebuke every spirit. Contain them with your soul. Go in the name of Jesus, you foul spirit that has been trying to take advantage of their body. In the name of Jesus, amen. When when we pray, we unlock greater presence. If we want to see a, a greater manifestation of the presence of God is when we pray. When we pray, we begin to see greater manifestation of God's presence right now. For the name of Jesus, we decree your, more of your manifestation in every dimension of our life, in every dimension of our ministry. A divine manifestation of your presence in every dimension of our life. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare this morning a greater manifestation of the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus, God has a miracle for you with your name on it. And he's going to give you that miracle. Whatever is your heart desire, receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Whatever that is your expectation, may you see manifestation right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Glory be to God. You're welcome to this prayer section. We are praying for supernatural breakfast. That God will give us breakfast in every area. There are things you're trusting God for. There may have been some limitations, some opposition. So this morning we're decreeing supernatural breakfast. Supernatural breakfast in ministry, in business, in your calling. We decree supernatural breakfast, supernatural breakfast in business, in ministry. In the name of Jesus, in Revelation 3, verse 8. Revelation. 3 verse 8, it said something very important. And the key word it there is, I've said before you, an open door. In Revelation 3 verse 8, it said, I know thy works. I know thy works. Behold, I've said before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. This morning, we we'll declare open doors, open doors. Open doors. We prophesy open doors in the name of Jesus. The doors that no one can shut. The doors that no one can stop. The doors that will be open in our favor concerning our vision. Concerning our ministries, open doors in the nations, open doors to preach the gospel, open doors to do business, open doors to reach more lives. In the name of Jesus, we decree and we declare this morning, open doors in the name of Jesus. Mm. Open doors in the name of Jesus will prophesy this morning. Amazing open doors. Open doors. In the name of Jesus. When God opens doors for you, 
it becomes an opportunity to accelerate in your vision. When God gives you an open door, it becomes your platform for unlocking supernatural expansion. God opened doors for us as a platform in which we can step into greater future. And there are people viewing this broadcast this morning. God is opening new doors for you. He's opening doors of ideas, doors of creativity, doors of invention, doors of concept. Let's begin to pray that right now. We'll receive open doors of ideas, open doors of invention, concept, cervix, likarado, sekete, libaba. We decree open doors of invention, open doors of creativity, open doors right now. Supernatural idea is coming to our spirit. We are able to unlock greater things. In the name of Jesus, we decree ideas are coming to us, ideas for businesses, ideas for ministry, ideas for our calling, Likandarabo Seketo Lembrodo Seketo Libaba invention, creativity, you're able to receive from heaven, you're able to create products, you're able to create things. Open doors for your business, open doors for your business, open doors for your business. Open doors for your business. We decree supernatural breakfast in the name of Jesus. There are people viewing right now. The power of God is coming upon you to be able to excel, to be able to do the things He's calling you to do. Let's begin to pray right now for the ability to fulfill your destiny, that you will unlock supernatural ability to fulfill your destiny. Supernatural ability. In Zachariah 4 verses, in Zachariah 4 verses, he said, It's not by mind, it's not by power, but by the Spirit, says the Lord of hosts. It's not by mind, it's not by power, but by the Spirit. Let's begin to decree this morning. It's going to be by the Holy Ghost. By the Spirit, you're receiving miracles. By the Spirit, you're receiving opportunities. By the Spirit, you're walking in greater opportunity. By the Spirit, Likandaraba Sokotolim Lakababa, Rekotolobo Sakatala Blakatababa, Lindo Shakatala Baba, in Jesus' mighty name we prayed. Amen. We are going to pray against every form of delay, delay in marriage, delay in business. Sometimes people are pursuing their vision, but there is this unnecessary delay. They can't go forward. They are just stuck in a place. They are not going forward. They know it. They feel it. They understand it. We are going to pray against every limitation. Whatever that is not planted by the Heavenly Father, I want to show us this scripture in, in, in Jeremiah. Praise the Lord. In, in Jeremiah chapter 1. And I believe that this scripture is going to go a long way to help us. In Jeremiah chapter 1, uh, verse, verse 10, Jeremiah 1, verse 10, he said, See, I have this day said before thee, said thee over the nation, I have this day said thee over the nation, to the, over the nations, um, over the kingdoms, to root out, to root out. He said, I have set you over the nations and over the kingdoms, to root out. This morning we are going to root out every stagnation, every limitation, every opposition against our advancement. Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. 
We root out every stagnation. We root out every limitation. We root out every delay. In the name of Jesus, we come against every spirit contending with the advancement of our ministry, with the advancement of our business, advancement of our vision. We root out delay. We root out delay. In the name of Jesus, we root out delay. We root out delay. Every stagnation, we come against it. Every spirit militating against our permission, against our assignment, we bind it in the name of Jesus. We take authority against foul spirit right now. We take authority against foul spirit. Delay in marriages, we root it out. Delay in relationship, or we root it out in the name of Jesus. Whatever that is not planted by the Heavenly Father, we root it out in the name of Jesus. Whatever that is not planted by the Heavenly Father, we root it out in the name of Jesus. Whatever that is not planted by the Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. In that same scripture, it said, and to... To, to pull down, the first thing was to root out, this is to pull down. We're going to pull down every imagination that is limiting us from going forward. You know, sometimes we can have some imagination, mentality, a way of thinking that is keeping us from entering our destiny. Let's begin to pull down every imagination. In the name of Jesus, we take authority against every small thinking, low low, low self-esteem, imagination that is not consistent with your word. In the name of Jesus, we pull it down. We pull it down. Everything we have conceived that is not from God, we pull it down. We pull it down. Whatever we have conceived that is not of God, we pull it down right now. 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 In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Next morning, we are praying for breakfast, and breakfast is going to come. There are people watching me right now. A financial miracle is coming to you. Receive a financial miracle. A financial miracle is coming to you. A financial miracle is coming to you right now. I prophesy a financial miracle. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to pray right now in Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 11. In Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 11, he said, Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Jeremiah, what seest thou? The word of the Lord came to him and said, Jeremiah, what seest thou? Now, the Lord is asking you, what seest thou? Can you see yourself out of depth? Can you see yourself out of limitation? Can you see yourself out of every emotional trauma, every frustration? What seest thou this morning in the name of Jesus begin to declare what you see? I see prosperity. I see abundance. I see healing. I see open doors. I see miracles of provision. I see being the free. I see healing, restoration of relationship. In the name of Jesus, this is what I see. I see miracles of open doors. I see miracles of opportunity for God's people this morning. Everyone viewing me this morning, I see miracles coming to you. I see opportunities coming to you. I see preferential treatment coming to you. I see your husband coming to you. I see your babies coming to you. I see your car coming to you. I see whatever you're believing God for. Masha Kababa, abundance coming to you. Likama Sokoto Libla Kababa, Rikoto Lobo Sakalababa. I see multiplication. Likanda Blade Sokoto Limla Kababa. I see your heart desire granted. Masokoto Libla Kababa. 
I see opportunity and miracles coming to you. Opportunities of provision, divine connection, new relationship, new platform. I see you debt free. I see you worry free. I see you anxiety free. I see you depression free. I see you frustration free. I see you fulfilling your destiny. I see you doing well with the gift of life and time. I see you prospering in your assignment. I see you prospering in ministry. I see you prospering with your children. I see you prospering in wisdom, in intelligence. I prophesy this morning supernatural release upon you supernatural open doors uh, today is going to be a stress free day today is going to be a day of miracle in the name of Jesus greater manifestation of favor I see favor coming your way you know when favor is in operation there is no limit to what you can achieve there is no limit to what you can do and there is no limit to what you can have when God's favor is in operation and I prophesy to you right now that you're going to experience explosive favor explosive favor with your superiors in your place of work, explosive favor, explosive favor, I prophesy explosive favor, explosive favor concerning your house, mark concerning your job, concerning relationship, concerning your calling, explosive favor, explosive favor in the name of Jesus. Would decree and would declare this morning explosive favor coming to God's people, coming to everyone viewing this broadcast right now. Explosive favor, favor beyond your human imagination, favor beyond your human recognition, favor beyond your human ability. Explosive favor. Rakotolo baba 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 baba. Rekotoli braka baba baba baba. Likama sokotoli braka baba. I decree this morning. Explosive favor in your calling, in your assignments, in your ministry, in your business, in your in your career. Explosive favor in that real estate. Someone is watching me. You into real estate. Explosive favor is coming. You are about to sell a house. That will change your whole story. I'm telling you, the percentage will be mind blowing. Receive explosive favor. You that is in real estate, explosive favor, explosive favor, explosive favor. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. When we pray in the Spirit, great things happen. I want to let you know that someone here is going to have a miracle in the next 24 hours. 24 hours miracle that in the next 24 hours there's going to be a miracle in the next 24 hours there's going to be a miracle for someone there's going to be an open door for someone in the next 24 hours in the next 24 hours a prophesy increase in the next 24 hours I prophesy 24 hours oh thank you for joining us from Germany God bless you I prophesy 24 hours I prophesy 24 hours 24 hours miracle 24 hours miracle I prophesy right now open doors in the spirit open doors in your dream open Open doors in your assignment. Open doors in the things God has called you to do. 24 hours miracle. 24 hours visitation. 24 hours increase. 24 hours in your in increase right now. Things are getting right for you. Things are moving in your favor. In the next 24 hours, a miracle of open door. A miracle of an accommodation. A miracle of business. I prophesy. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, glory be to God. 
I'm going to read Jeremiah chapter 2. In Jeremiah chapter 2, verse, verse 7. And I brought you into a plentiful country. That's the word we're taking from that scripture. To eat fruit thereof and the goodness thereof. I brought you into a plentiful country. In this season, we are entering into a plentiful country. A place where we are going to have preferential treatment, supernatural open doors, plentiful. <laughs> I like that. You know, when you read the Bible, you take the part that belongs to you. <laughs> it's plenty that you're going to have this season. Father, in the name of Jesus, would decrease supernatural supply. Supernatural supply coming to you in the name of Jesus. Supernatural supply. Record all over Sakatala Baba Baba. We decree and we declare supernatural supply concerning your expectation, concerning your vision. Supernatural supply. Supernatural supply. Supernatural provision. Supernatural protection, supernatural increase, supernatural multiplication, supernatural prof uh, supply, Lima, blah, 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 blah. supernatural supply, supply beyond your expectation, supply beyond your imagination, supply beyond your expectation. In the name of Jesus, supernatural supply. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. A miracle is happening to someone right now. 24 hours miracle. There is someone you're watching me right now. From, from now till next week, Friday, God is going to give you a major open door that will make you dance, smile, rejoice, and shout for joy. From now till Friday next week, in the next one week, what I saw in the Spirit is eight days. Eight days to have a new beginning. Eight days. And I prophesy to someone right now that these eight days that is before you will be amazing experience. Yes, Makali Kurudo Salababa. In these eight days, great things will happen. Great things will happen in these eight days. In these eight days, great things will break out. In these eight days, there's going to be miracles. There's going to be opportunities. In these eight days, expect increase. Expect miracles. Expect opportunities. Expect preferential treatment. In these eight days, expect mighty release. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree right now. Concerning the eight days before your people, may they begin to see uncommon favor, uncommon opportunity, uncommon increase, uncommon connection, uncommon favor, uncommon open doors. I prophesy in these eight days, there will be a major shift in your business. A major shift in your business in these eight days. In these eight days, I prophesy every expectation you have be granted in the name of Jesus. Every dream you have, receive miracles of opportunity. Every expectation, every heart desire, consistent with God's word, I see manifestation. In these eight we release it in the name of Jesus. We release the breakthrough. We release the breakthrough. All those who are believing God for breakthrough, opportunities, miracles of increase, receive in the name of Jesus. I prophesy this morning before you. I prophesy upon you that greater increase will come your way. 
whatever that is going on in your life right now, I release miracles of divine opportunities, miracles of divine increase, miracles of preferential treatment, miracles of abundance. I pray for supernatural increase upon you right now. Thank you, Father. There is someone I hear the Lord saying, everything the enemy stole from you, I'm going to give you supernatural restoration in the next six days. I'm telling you, in the next six days, there is someone watching me. There is someone watching me right now in the next six days. From now to next week, Thursday, there'll be unusual manifestation of favor. In the next six days, I'm talking to someone. This thing is going to happen like a, like a rushing mighty wind. Because the Lord is repositioning his people in this season. When a prophetic word comes, God expects you to receive the word. And I prophesy right now, in the next six days, a major restoration of an expectation. A major restoration of an expectation. A major restoration of an expectation. Yes, Lord. Balikanda libo sekanda libaba lesun toro bo santa lababa rekoto lo bo santa lababa rekanta labra de sekebaba a major restoration of an expectation a major restoration of an expectation and the manifestation of the expectation receive in the name of Jesus glory be to God thank you Father glory to God. Major harvest is coming your way. I hear this in the spirit. It is time for overflowing harvest. It is time. It is time. Rikanda Labo Shakababa. I prophesy to you this morning. Every hindrance to your manifestation, I remove it in the name of Jesus. Every hindrance to your manifestation, I remove it in the name of Jesus. We bind every hindrance, every hindrance. Every hindrance will bind it in the name of Jesus. Now we release your manifestation. Now we release your manifestation. We release your manifestation. We release your manifestation. I release your manifestation in the name of Jesus. Your manifestation is now. Your season is now. Your moment is now. Now faith is. Thank you, Jesus. Someone just got healed. You had a pain last night on your stomach region. You have been healed by the power of God. You have been healed by the power of God. You have been healed by the power of God. I saw a child that has been going through some health issue. A child. Now the power of God is touching that child. Be healed. The mom is watching me. I command your baby to be healed by the power of God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lamb of God. Miracles are taking place right now. The power of God is all over this place. People are getting healed. People are getting delivered. Yes, someone is believing God for a car. Uh, glory be to God. Uh, yes, God can heal through the scope. I've been having healings. People have been testifying. God heals through the scope. Yes, God heals. And if you want healing, take it. Come on. It doesn't matter who you are. Be healed by the power of God. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Be healed. Thank you, Jesus. I release your healing anointing over the place right now. I command people to be healed of cancer. Be healed of any disease, any infection. I command the infection to die to the root in the name of Jesus. I release the healing presence of Jesus all over the world. Touching people, watching me right now. I release the power of God upon you. In the name of Jesus, I release the power of God upon you. I release the power of God upon you. In the name of Jesus, amen. There is no limit to the healing power of God. You know, 
Before the scope, Jesus sent forth his word and healed the centurion man's servant. Before the scope came, Jesus, the centurion man came to Jesus in Matthew chapter 8. And he said to Jesus, I want my servant to be healed. And Jesus said, I will come and heal him. And the centurion man said, no. Speak the word only, my servant to be healed. That is the same thing I'm doing. The healing power of God comes to us when we respond to it by faith. The healing power of God comes to us when we respond by faith. And faith in God has no limitation. Faith in God has no limitation because faith in God has the ability to break any limitation. Faith in God has the potential to inspire transformation. Faith in God will receive. Faith in God does not fail. Faith in God can receive from anywhere in the world. It doesn't matter where you're watching me. There is no distance in the spirit. He sent forth his word. Psalm 107 verse 20. He sent forth his word and his word healed them and delivered them from their destruction. So the word of God travels faster than the speed of light. If you did physics, you know that... That light travels faster. If you did physics, you would know that light travels faster. But the word of God travels faster than the speed of light. In Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12. In Hebrews 4 verse 12, he said the word of God is quick. He said the word of God is powerful. He said it's sharper than two-edged sword. It has the potential to break any limitation. The word of God. As we pray, Expect miracles. As we pray, expect miracles right now. Oh, in the name of Jesus, I decree, whoever that is believing you for a manifestation of healing, a manifestation of deliverance, a manifestation of provision, I decree you see manifestation in the name of Jesus. I release manifestation. I release manifestation by the power of God right now. Someone is being healed by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Someone is being healed by the power of God. Thank you, Father. The healing presence of Jesus is all over the place. Receive your healing. In Luke chapter 5, verse 17, is a why Jesus was teaching. He said the power of God was present to heal. Why Jesus was teaching. The power of God was present to heal. Can I say this to you? The power of God comes as a revelation of comfort. The power of God was present to heal. And right now I speak healing to your body. Let the fire of God begin to melt every infection, every disease, every every issue, every situation, every pain. Be gone in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Jesus heals today. Miracles are for today. In Acts 10, 38, he said, How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good. How God anointed. The anointing is here. I can feel it. I know it. And I'm seeing it. The anointing is here. Whatever you believe, you receive. Right now, receive whatever is your heart desire that is according to God's word. In the name of Jesus, I release your expectation to come to you. And I command a manifestation of a testimony. A manifestation of a testimony. In the name of Jesus, there is someone here by Wednesday before 3 p.m. your time. You'll be testifying. <laughs> You're watching me. By Wednesday before 3 p.m. your time, you will text me and say, Apostle, I'm testifying. That's your word. You're watching me. By Wednesday, before 3 p.m. your time, you're texting me and saying, Apostle, it happened to me. (laughs) 
Apostle, I just received the check. Apostle, I just received the approval. Apostle, I just won the legal case. Apostle, I just won the matter. Apostle, the door just opened. Apostle, they just gave me the document. Apostle, they just gave me the approval. There is someone here watching me. Before Wednesday, 3 p.m., you're jumping and you're shouting, Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Miracles are happening to people right now. Miracles are happening to people right now. I hear the Lord saying, it is time to break forth. That's your word. He said, it's time to break forth. It's time to break forth. There is someone you have been praying, but at the same time you have been battling with fear concerning what you're praying about. You've been praying, but you've been battling with fear. But the Lord says, I should tell you, don't be afraid. You will not be disgraced. <laughs> don't be afraid. You will not be put to shame. You have been praying. But you've been entertaining some fears in your heart concerning the matter. And the Lord is telling me to tell you, don't be afraid. You will not be humiliated. You will not be frustrated. That's what the Lord is telling me to tell you. Don't be afraid. You will not be humiliated. You will not. Something amazing is happening. Something amazing is happening. Don't be afraid. You will not be humiliated. You will not. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. I rebuke the spirit of fear. I command that spirit of fear to be gone from your mind, from your soul. Go, you foul spirit of fear, in the name of Jesus. And I hear the Lord saying, there's going to be multiple results, multiple testimonies. Wow, I received that. Multiple results, multiple testimonies. This is a word for someone. Hallelujah. Multiple results, multiple testimonies, multiple increase. Multiple results, multiple testimony. Wow. The power of God came upon a lady while you're hearing me. You felt something like a current, like a power in your body. Like a current in your body. Yes. Thank you, Father. Multiple results. Multiple testimony. The anointing is coming upon you heavily. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Right now. Right now. Right now. Yes. 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 I could see the power of God upon you. Yes. 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 Receive it in the name of Jesus. Yes, <laughs> yes. Ooh, someone just felt something entered into you. The current of the spirit. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Multiple results. Multiple. Multiple favor. Thank you, Jesus. Multiple favor. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Someone just got healed. A spinal cord injury. Someone just got healed. A spinal cord injury. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Try to turn bench. Try to bend. When I'm talking to, the pain is gone. Glory to God. The anointing is strong here. I can feel that anointing. Healing people, touching people, changing the lives of people. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you. Someone had a pain. On the chest region, you've been healed by the power of God. I command that pain to be gone right now. In the name of Jesus, be healed. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, that's the power of God. It just touched you right now. Thank you. There is a lady. You are, you are, you are looking for one of your jewelry. One of your jewelry. You're going to find it. You've been looking for it. You'll find it. From the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, lead her to where the jewelry is. It is done. <laughs> Amen. 
someone who's apostle. Uh, is God interested in people's jewelry? Yes. <laughs> yes, it's a miracle working God. He can do anything. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. He can do anything. He can do anything. <laughs> Whatever you're looking for, you'll find it. <laughs> wow. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. <laughs> He's an awesome God. He's an awesome God. <laughs> God is good, yeah. <laughs> it's an awesome God. Praise the Lord. Okay. I well um yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I feel the power of God all over the place. <laughs> wow. He's a faithful God. His presence is all over the place. His presence is all over the place. His presence. In your room right now, you're watching me. There is a presence all over the place. In your room where you're watching me. Yes, the presence of God is so strong in the place. I could feel it. I could feel the current in the atmosphere. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Okay, glory to God. And uh, this is the much I could take for this broadcast. And I uh, we'll encourage you to go to our YouTube page, East Fitman Teaching. And you can have a lot of my teachings, a lot of messages. I was watching... The meeting we did last night on Grace Walk. It was beautiful. The teaching was on. I was watching it. I said, wow, this is awesome. I was so blessed watching it. And uh, I encourage you to, uh, to just enjoy your relationship with God. So I encourage you to go to YouTube and, uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, someone says, I watch all the time. That's beautiful. Thank you for watching. Okay, and I encourage you also, when you watch me on YouTube, I like you to share it on Facebook. I like you to share it on Facebook or share it on any media platform in which more people could receive that engrafted word. Thank you for watching me. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so we also encourage people to partner with us. We have a vision of having 1 million followers in the next three months, I believe it's possible. <laughs> and 10 million hearts. And every one of us is going to make it happen. This scope belongs to you. <laughs> Not just to me, it belongs to you. So you are part of this ministry family. So we need your support to be able to invite your followers and to give more hearts as you watch the school. Thank you. I will be a blessing to you, sir. Thank you. God bless you. So thank you very much. I appreciate all those who are supporting, praying for me. It goes a long way to help me. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, someone said, tell us how to partner. Okay, thank you very much, TV man. You can partner through PayPal. It's faithmanteaching at gmail dot com faithman teaching at gmail dot com faithman teaching at gmail dot com uh, and uh, if you also want to use moneygram to send us or western union we can inbox you information and if you want to do a bank transfer in case of the kind of city one or so is more you want to do a bank transfer we can send you <clears throat> Sorry, an information that you can use to do a bank transfer. We can send you the information, the details. So we encourage you to partner with this ministry today to be a blessing to us today, to be a blessing. We continue to get the airtime to keep broadcasting. It goes a long way to help in broadcasting more of the schools, more of the teachings you're watching. So it is true partnership. We're able to do more. I can do it alone. God has given me the message to share what you need to partner with me as we can do it together and win more souls. The Bible said Paul planted, Apollos watered. God gave the increase. So thank you for coming from Kentucky. God bless you. And uh, we are encouraging everyone to partner with the ministry, to connect, to give hearts, to invite followers. Let's build this network because I believe that uh, soon it will be larger than what it is right now. A lot of people are listening to the message, so let's support the vision. It's not about 
me trying to be popular is about me trying to get this message to more people out there. That's what I'm looking for. How we could change more lives, how we could touch more lives. So thank you for inviting your followers. So we encourage you to invite your followers all the time. Uh, yes, there is a blessing in partnership. Yes, there is a real blessing in partnership. When we partner together, we're able to change lives. So on YouTube right now, we have hundred and something teachings on YouTube. So you have a lot to do, you know, so people can take notes. And then um, we are looking forward to starting the School of Apostles. Maybe it may be mid-June. Uh, we are. I just want to tell you the conferences that are coming uh, so you can know what we're doing. We are going to have a uh, Grace Empowering conference from 1st of June. From 1st of June, we'll be having a Grace Empowering conference. The second week of June, we'll be having Apostolic Conference. Um, the third week of June, we'll be starting the Apostolic School. You know, on the scope here, the Lord gave me a vision to disciple people, to raise leaders. And uh, yes, amen. Someone said, the, let this teaching be expanded by TV worldwide. Amen. So, yes, amen. The Lord is doing it. So, these are the conferences we're having. So, we encourage you to partner with the conferences coming up. Uh, the two conferences, Empowering Grace Conference and Apostolic uh, Leaders Conference. Someone say, you inspire me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I like it when I hear that. Thank you. I want to be part of it. Thank you very much. I like it when I hear that. Thank you. You know, I was talking to someone yesterday and she said, Apostle, you don't know what you've done for me. You've changed my life. It's always exciting to serve you. That's what I live for, to see that your dreams come true. That's what I live for, to see that you fulfill your destiny. So we are having the Empowering Grace Conference. We are having the Apostolic Conference coming up and um, also the School of Apostle. Now, after we are done with the School of Apostle or within the School of Apostle, we'll be having Season 2, Season 2 of School of Prophets. The School of Prophet is coming back, Season 2. What we just had was Season 1. So, a lot of teaching will be coming about the School of Prophets. So, there will be so much. Uh, and uh, a lot of people, will, lives will change. I know a lot of people don't have money to pay school fees, go to Bible school, go to places to learn. But the Lord has come to do it free of charge. <laughs> He has called me to help people. So I'm not charging preaching.